What is up? What is up, Bold Nation? Welcome back to another Warzone DMC video. And today we're going to be talking about something that is really going to change how DMC is played for the rest of our lives. So let's dive into this video. And before I even continue, I just want to ask you guys to please hit the subscription button and also turn on all notifications so you guys know when we go live to help you in any DMZ mission or when we make any videos live. Now, DMZ, DMZ, as we are seeing here in the roadmap for season three. So let's dive into the first thing and we're going to be talking about the batter system. How is it going to work? How is it? that is going to happen once you guys are into this uh, game itself. One of the biggest additions, it says here in the, in the big update for the roadmap, it says one of the biggest additions since the launch of DMC is the batter system. You guys know we've talked about it in the uh, live stream. It's like there is no point of you going into DMC besides completing your missions. But once that's done, what's the point now? Of course, DMC is just a beta, guys, at this moment and just is being evolved over time. So right now we're going to be taking a look at what is going to be implemented. So the batter system says a way to award operators who stock up on items and reach a buy station to swap them for other valuables. In general, a trader may not have what you want, but they will definitely always have what you need. So what could it be? Could it be plates? Could it be uh, different items that you need to complete a mission? We don't have those details. So have in mind that before season three releases, we're going to be providing you guys with a complete update an overhaul of everything that is going to happen with DMC. So make sure you hit that subscription button. There is no peer to peer trading through their system but of course you are still free to swap items during a match with friendly operators right there is no such thing as friendly friendly in dmc especially those who operate taxi services as we hear they are incredible helpful so we'll find out a little bit more about what they're actually meaning by that but always have in mind that players are going to be players so if you have something that they need they can easily, easily take you out. So we are your Bolt Nation, your number one DMC go-to to help you guys complete any missions and be there to support you and make sure that no one takes you out because we stay with each other, right? And now we're going to be moving into the workbench and as we guys are able to see here, it is a workbench and what can you do in the workbench? It says here, Another major additional to DMC is the workbench, which can be found at a buy state, which can be found near buy stations and allows you to modify contraband weapons. So any contraband weapons that you pick up from any bot or anything like that could easily, easily be upgraded now. Now, this is where it comes, right? You go and you loot, you grab different items, you grab, remember there is a drill charger. We're always talking about what's the point of a drill charge? What is the point of a screwdriver? What is the point of this other piece? So now everything that has been added in those toolboxes or that we find in the crates is going to come to a workbench where you're going to be able to upgrade your different weapons. For a nominal cash free, the workbench allows a operator to add an attachments to unlock for the contraband's weapons platforms onto a piece of contraband, remove them piece by piece. So we're going to be actually uh, using some money to be able to uh, do this. And it says helpful for those times when a 5.5 scope does not fit the fast firing SMG when the sniper rifle needs an extended mag. A workbench will become another way to spend a hard-earned cash and sometimes impactful for that infiltrated and beyond. Now we move into the active duty operator slots. What does it mean? We don't we're not provided a lot of information, but of course, we're going to be diving in what we feel we think it is. Since in season three, you won't just have one operator to infiltrate 
and denial areas. Denial areas are like the airport uh, where you find a lot of bots in this uh, Sawa village. There's uh, infiltrator section. There's also Satik cave in different sections like that, that sometimes if you go by yourself or you're not very prepared, you could easily, easily die in there. It says every player will start with three active dirty uh, operator slots which equates of having three operator operate operators who have their own on soldiered items these items include your backpack play carriers kill streak self revives and gas mask for every infiltration you can choose which active operator you bring in meaning that you can calculate risk of whatever missions you want to tackle at that time and also the type of experience you want to have during that match for example you can have an active duty operator safe for some major story missions in building 21 runs stack up with three plate carriers self revive and more then have another that is built in for scavenging items which nothing but one play carriers to their name so overall we're going to have different slots now are these slots are going to be are they going to have cooldowns as you see there one of them says zero as you guys see here right in this section it says zero uh deployments uh um, that you have completed so maybe you have to complete a, a contract to be able to get that streak of the infills and then maybe that will add up and unlock as you go but it does say that you're going to have three available slots but what exactly how do you unlock them or how are you going to be able to move, uh, have availabilities from one to another and it says there it gives you equip and also customize so we're going to be able to customize it to our own benefits depending on the different missions you guys know building 21 is the hottest hard mode because not only you have those bots that can kill you very easily but also you have players that if you're not on a three plate you could go down really easy now let's move into the new faction that we're going to be getting and that is the redacted special operators in all the different things that are coming up says an unknown faction redacted is coming season three and we'll have three of its missions tiers at launch so once season three starts we're going to have three different tier missions that we need to complete then it says plus two more in mid-season so we're going to have um, four and five probably opened up in during three uh, season three reloaded and it says new and remix missions contract infinity ward is introducing a new set of factions says here missions for the upcoming season as well as new contracts so we're going to get not only missions but also contracts which is going to add a little bit more spiciness to dmc which is actually going to make this mode i'm telling you guys dmc if you guys keep supporting dmc is going to be taking over warzone because not only of course you no know, warzone is very competitive where dmc is a different more of a strategy how to go about it how to do complete different things but dmc is a mode that a lot of you guys love and that is why we are your number one dmc youtube channel that you can go to and get help now it says that in the secure supplies contract which flags containers in the exclusion zone with essential gear for this experience this is a great way to get your operator build up after a previous run in DMC where you fail to extract. We're also going to be getting, guys, new bosses, new bosses to DMC. So that means we're going to be unlocking different weapons. We're going to be unlocking uh, maybe their gear. Uh, who knows? We don't know at this moment, but definitely, you know, when we have new bosses, we're going to have weapon cases that we need to go get. So... We are here, of course. We're going to be helping you guys out. Get those. It says operators should be prepared to face off threats across various exclusion zones as there are not one, but two bosses that Intel suggests redacted. Intel also suggests that deep underground in Almazra, deep underground in Almazra, 
there is a redacted. We have plenty of more information coming up, guys, next week. So, but overall, that is what's going to happen. That is the roadmap to Warzone Season 3. We're going to get not only the batter system, we're going to get a workbench. We're going to get active duty operator slots and also new faction with new missions. And also it says there upcoming missions with new contracts. So overall, DNC is looking to be having a healthy season three. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share this with your mama, your papa, <laughs> your pet, whoever you guys have. Share the video with you guys. And also, don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way. And also, we're here live streaming daily. And we are going to be helping you guys. Once again, thank you. And we'll see you on the next one.